I think my dad was simping for my mom for a hot second. My mom was really popular. I have a boyfriend. We actually met through the DMs. Yeah, my parents know the story and they hated it. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is a beautiful day in the city. And, you know, I was just thinking about how Asian representation in media has been changing over the past few years. And you're seeing more multifaceted Asian characters and Asian artists. I think now is a great time to ask that question about Asians dating in America and how that may have changed over the years. I'm talking about specifically Gen Z, people who are you know between the ages of 24 and 18 those are the people i'm really gonna ask today because i want to find out more are they still keeping it traditional like their parents who probably are immigrants or are they leaning all the way into the american way do they want to date more traditional but they're just dating like americans because everybody else is we need to find out and i want to open that pandora's box today this video is in collaboration with EME Hive, which is the number one Asian live streaming and dating app with 1.4 million Asian singles and 140,000 happy couples. Guys, it's a great way to just network, meet people, even meet friends or meet the love of your life. EME is a great way to chat with real people via one-on-one -on -one video chat. It eliminates catfishing. EME also has advanced matching algorithms and filters such as ethnicity, height, education, interest, and even the age that they arrived in the US so increase your response rate from your matches by sending a personalized message remember if you guys are interested click on that link down below now let's go find out more about how Asians are dating in America how did your parents date my parents are Indian and it was an arranged marriage my parents they were like an arranged marriage she told my dad that oh if you're not getting married then we're not dating I think my dad was simping for my mom for a hot second. So they met um, actually working at Korean Air together. My parents were from the Soviet Union, but they came to the U.S. in college. And they met in college at NYU, actually. There was like this club, and they like played this Russian game, and they met there, and like all the Russian people went there, so that's how they met. So. Hello, how are you? I'm really good, how are you? <laughs> uh, uh, we are playing this Russian game. Uh, I just saw that you also go to NYU, so I figure you're from Russia and go to NYU, so do I. Yeah, I do too. Wow, you're so cute. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Mary? They took things very slow. I think they dated for like 10 years before they got married. They're both art teachers. They met in college. I think he just bought her a shit ton of flowers, food, some tteokbokki, some jajangmyeon. You know, the typical shit. Are you just like telling me a K-drama that you just watched? They met at a Jewish party. Do you think they were a little crazy like having fun and hooking up at that time? Or you're like, as far as I know, no, don't. I mean, my dad was like in a band in California. So they might have done some great, I don't know. Guys in bands, I heard some things. Who knows, maybe. How would you describe how the typical American might date nowadays versus a more typical Asian might date. There's a lot of hookup culture. Hookup culture. Hookup culture. That's kind of where our generation's at right now. It's hookup culture is like a big part. They might like hook up first and then date. Probably gonna play around, f around. They're not gonna take shit seriously if they know that they might get played. So they're gonna do whatever they wanna do. Dating was always like you had to keep that separate because that's like a no-no in my house. Because I'm from Taiwan, I think people there like take dating more seriously. Just broke up with my long-term boyfriend and we dated for nearly a year and my parents never met him. I think dating apps is like a thing that people do now. They use like dating apps a lot. I have a boyfriend, we actually met through the DMs. I never really tried to look for people in person. Yeah, it's a bit more free right now than how it was before. Well, who do you think is dated more, you or your parents? I don't know a lot about their lives, frankly. My mom was really popular. Oh, when I was younger, so many guys lined up outside my house. Like they owned the restaurant. She was like, they would come here to eat just to see me. They brought flowers and chocolate. Ooh. And my dad was like fighting for her. So do you think you're getting less attention than your mom did? Yeah. What's a, a typical date for people your age? Probably like a coffee date, 100%, yeah. or pizza or something. Dating is not actually dating. You don't, like, nobody's taking you out. It's like, you're just going to meet here, meet at the park, link, smoke drink. And at what stage did you guys probably already hook up? I have been well, here for two weeks. Know. I haven't had a chance. <laughs> it's only my third day out here. I don't know. Yeah. It's more like the effort and the gesture that means a lot more than how expensive it is or whatever. Before I get into my takeaways, I want to give a shout out to our collaborator on this video, EME Hive. It is the number one Asian live streaming and dating app. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your computer. Definitely check it out because it's a great way to meet the love of your life, boyfriend, girlfriend, or or just meet a friend. It's not just for dating, it's also for networking, mingling, there's live streams, there's different entertainment, everything's built in guys. It is a fully functional app, it's how you use it. And again, when it comes to apps, I just say, 
If your intentions are clear and your heart is good, every app is going to breed results, all right? You just gotta put the work in. And that's what I do appreciate about EME Hive. But you can also choose how many years or when did they arrive in the US because as you know, EME does have a lot of people from Asia who are coming over that are also on the app. So it's a really cool mix of people. You guys should check it out, EME Hive. Click on the link down below. Would your parents be at all surprised or mad or appalled at how you date? They would hate it and they'd hate me for it. <laughs> they would probably think I'm a whore. Just some chansori, they would like nitpick the shit out of me. Yeah, my parents know the story and they hated it. <laughs> would your parents be appalled if they found out how you date or how many even people you've messed around with now? Absolutely. Don't watch this mom or dad. They don't know and, and that's the way it should stay. Would you guys both agree that the American way of dating, the typical American way of dating is more fun? Yeah, to be honest, yes. <laughs> Would you engage and see what it's like? If I have a chance, I will probably try it. <laughs> My friends kind of call me a dog because I only use dating apps. It's kind of gross. It's better with the older tradition than it is now. I did not sign up for this American dating trajectory. I have beef with dating apps. It doesn't work for me because I find that it's it just creates like a, okay, this was fun for this one day and I'm never going to see you again. And it's just like a pattern and you just kind of end up feeling miserable at the end of it. You personally have it a preference or are more inclined to seek someone of a similar culture as you? How do you feel? Yeah, I think so. I kind of want to stick with my own culture, like feel more comfortable with that. The only relationships I've been in were interracial relationships. Definitely a lot of judgment, lots of racism. I'd say yes and no. I think it's more exciting when it's like somebody different than you. I think from a logistical standpoint, I feel like I'm attracted to also like, um, in, you know, Indian people. I like how you said logistically. Yeah. You're like, yeah, just for kind of how it's going to work and the whole engineering of the structure. But I'm not like specific to only Asian guys. I am attracted to Arab guys, but like... Yeah, no, I mean, that's fair that, yeah. Beards tan, like dark, like. They got, they got to be able to take the vodka. Yeah, that's really important. Vodka is important. So as far as my takeaways from doing all these interviews, I found that even amongst Gen Z Asians who are, you know, under the age of 24, they still have not forgotten how their parents met. They haven't forgot tradition. Now, I don't think they want to be their parents or they don't want to live their parents' lives and they know it's different, but they're more open about it. I also see that a lot of them are communicating with their parents in ways that maybe people of the former generation generations didn't you know just parents are telling their kids more even if they are more traditional and from Asia and also I think it does go to show you that Asian parents from Asia are also changing because the world is changing so not all culture is lost with the Gen Z the young people they still get it but they still also want to have their fun so guys thank you again for watching listen it's 2021 how you date is how you want my recommendation is just to be clear with people don't play people out don't break hearts on purpose don't forget the human connection Connection, even if you met them on an app, which it's totally okay. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. That's Andrew from the Fung Brothers here in New York City. Shout out to EME Hive. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.